Um, two months ago, I purchased the brand new uh, 12-inch MacBook. Um, I really like it. It's my favorite I, Mac. I, know, I didn't think it would be because it's a slower processor. It's a Core M processor. Uh, it's it's the keyboard is kind of there's less travel and it's kind of a weird keyboard, but I love it. It's so thin. It's light. This is my laptop. Exactly, and for on the go, like I have my desktop for everything else, but just like on the go, it's it's really great. Um, my question is: uh, in January, I'm starting a new uh, teaching position, and so I'm going to have to have my laptop plugged in at the front of the class for several hours. First of all, congratulations. That's great news. Thank you. And I've been looking around to find, because I, I, I found a couple, you know, adapters for USB-C for yeah. VGA and yeah. HDMI. However, the Apple one is the only one that seems to allow power pass-through. So if I'm plugged into the display with a, an adapter other than the Apple one, uh, the battery is still going to, you know, eventually run out yeah. over the I, course of the day. I, I, will, I will stop you right there. Don't get the Apple uh, adapter only because it's $80. Even it's, more up here. It's so. <laughs> yeah, that's in the U.S. It's absurd for a little bit of plastic. Now, the good news is that Type-C connector, which is the only connector on our MacBooks, is a standard it's not an Apple unique thing. So that means there's lots of places you could go to get additional adapters. So you want power, but you also, you know, and, and that's the, that's when it first came out, people said, but when I'm charging it, I can't do anything else. And so Apple and others have released adapters that allow you to pass through power. And yes, there are other companies that do this. And in addition to having standard USB ports, the Apple has uh, U, two USBs and an HDMI port along with an additional Type C connector which will pass through power uh yeah. there's docks though there's a lot of them that are even more sophisticated that will there's some that will plug in and might be this might be what you want they're like bricks that plug into the type c port not through a wire but actually dock to the uh macbook and then give you all sorts of additional features you'd love for instance an sd card reader i would yeah um all it basically gives you all the ports you'd have on a full-size macbook uh, but then it's a dock, so you don't need to keep it there. There were a number of Kickstarter projects to do this. A lot of companies making these. I think Belkin uh, makes one. Um, you can. And by the way, one of the things you'd like to have, if you could, is Thunderbolt as well, and that is possible with Type C connector. Apple's Type C connector is a, a full-fledged Type C connector, so okay. that's good news. That means that you can uh, pass everything through it, including high-speed video and everything so um i'm trying to remember i've seen a number of these there's so many docks now um and I, I just i think that what apple sells is not ideal uh only because of its price and its functionality is eh, limited like i would love an sd card reader come on for yeah. 79 bucks 800 dollars canadian you'd like to <laughs> or something you'd, you'd like to have uh, a little bit more and i'm just trying to find Maybe the chat room can uh, can help me. Most of them that I found had everything except it's a power, the power pass. Through. Yeah, you really do want power because you're well, you have to because you're going to be sitting there for hours. Yeah, lecturing up in front of the screen. And what else? What other connectors you need? USB. Uh, ideally, one USB. But for for what I need right now, just for the the teaching part, is just power and um, uh, either HDMI or a VGA. Yeah. There was a really good one on Kickstarter, and I and I the problem with Kickstarter is you don't know when you're going to get it, yeah. um, and you don't know uh, you know if they're even going to make it. They raised seven hundred seventy-eight thousand. No, no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. They had seven hundred seventy-eight backers. They raised sixty thousand dollars, but then they canceled it, and I was really bummed. I, I I bought into this one, and it was it was called the Branch. It fit right in. It looked like a little extension on the MacBook. Filt right in and gave you everything you wanted, including power. And they raised sixty grand, and then for some reason they just gave up. A lot of times that happens on Kickstarter. It's not that it's a bad idea; it's just that nobody can figure out how to. You know, manufacturing is a hard thing to do. Tell you what, we have to take a break. Keep listening, okay? I will have, I will have some recommendations. I'm gonna have to do some research. So, uh, thanks to the chat room, we found some answers for Chris. Chris will be teaching in January. In, uh, and he needs to stand up in front of the class with his MacBook, his beautiful 12-inch MacBook, which I love. Problem with the MacBook, Apple was mocked when they made it. 
earlier this year because it only has one connector, a Type-C, USB Type-C connector. That's the power port. Plug something into that, you can't do anything else. If you want to do any, anything else, you need to get adapters. But I like the simplicity of that. It's, it made it a simpler, uh, more a thinner, lighter computer. And yeah, there's plenty of ways to get additional adapters out of that thing, including, and thanks to Scooter X in the chat room for being the first to find it, one from Otherworld Computing. And I should have known because they, they are a Mac-focused company. I've bought many a Mac product from them, uh, external drives, internal drives, RAM. And they have a USB-C dock. Only bad news, I'm sorry to say, Chris, won't be. It's available for pre-order today. Won't be out until January. So you're going to have some some weeks in school when you <laughs> you won't have everything you need. It's also big, and I think that one of the reasons companies like Sateki and others who are making Type C docks for the MacBook don't pass through power is, and I would bet because if you're going to pass through power, you probably need in effect a power brick, right, or something that will. Uh, is it? An, I don't know if it's a transformer in there uh, or just dissipating heat, but that it is not something that could be too small. So this is a fairly big uh, dock. I mean, it uh, it is it is not small, but at the same time, man, it does everything. It's got audio. It's got SD cards. It's got four USB. Sorry, five USB. No, four USB three ports. It's got Ethernet. It's got HDMI video out. Doesn't seem to have Thunderbolt. Okay, we'll live with that. It does have video, a couple of different video ports, uh, one Type C and one uh, HDMI, and then it does pass through charging. So this looks like the one to get. Not not cheap, 159 bucks. So it's even more than Apple's solution. MaxSales.com. I bet you there are some other solutions coming like that. USB Type C is going to be the future. In fact, I'd be curious. I will. I'm, I ordered it. <laughs> As soon as we found it, I ordered it. Uh, and I will review it for you when I get it next month. But uh, I'm curious if it will work with other Type-C computers. For instance, the Google Chromebook Pixel is a Type-C charging. It it should. It's a standard. It's USB, it's USB 3.1 Type-C. That'd be interesting to see if it works with other USB-C computers. Because you know what? Everything, phones, computers, everything, I think, is going to go Type-C in the next year or so. So there you go, Chris. Congratulations on the new job. Good luck.